Hi folks, Andy Trinan, the President and CEO here at the Fraser History Museum. I want to start first and foremost at saying we have missed you over the last 12 weeks. Our staff, as you know, did an amazing job pivoting and delivering our content virtually, but let's face it, a visit to the Fraser with your family and friends is a more enriching experience. So grab your family and friends and come on back. We hope to see you very soon. I want you to know that we are taking all the necessary steps to ensure that your visit is safe, that it is safe for you and your family and for our staff as well. We're following all CDC regulations. We are socially distancing. We're disinfecting, offering hand sanitizer throughout the museum. Uh, we are also requiring masks for all of our staff and temperature checking staff as well. We're requesting masks for you as well and offering free ones if you forget yours from home. You should know that some of our exhibits will look a little bit different and that's by design. We have to activate them differently uh, because of social distancing and not being able to interact. Uh, but they are outstanding and we can't wait uh, for you to see them. What is Vote Worth? Suffrage Then and Now opens here at the Fraser right now. This is a community-wide effort. A lot of different organizations throughout the city involved in the celebration and story of the 100th anniversary of the 19th Amendment and the 55th anniversary of the Voting Rights Act. It is an important topic to be tackling at this time. Both are explored deeply in the exhibit. We're also opening Pappy Van Winkle for all you Bourbon fans out there, and I know there are a lot of you. Uh, that opens in June as well, a celebration of the man and his family that followed. And speaking of the Voting Rights Act and what is a vote worth, uh, just over a year ago, the museum hired Rachel Platt as our Director of Community Engagement with the focus on improving community relations, diversity, equity, racial injustice. These are important topics, perhaps more important now than they ever have been in our history, and it's great to have Rachel here doing that great work and providing that content to you every week. If you are not a member, I sure would hope that you would consider joining. If you are a LAPS member, now would be a great time to have you back. COVID-19 has certainly, um, well, it, it, it's tested our resolve over the last 12 weeks, but it certainly has not broken our spirit. Our staff works hard every day to live into our mission of igniting the human spirit, and we can't wait to do that again in person here at the Fraser History Museum, where the world meets Kentucky.